Hey gang, Jacob Griscom here, and this video has been a long time coming, but we are finally ready. Uh, Cap.finance is launched on the Layer 2 Arbitrum network. This is going to be a quick tutorial video on how it works, including the preliminary steps you need to take uh, to be able to uh, access Arbitrum and uh, get Ethereum onto Arbitrum and use that. So if you go to cap.finance right now, uh, and if you are connected with your MetaMask wallet uh, from the mainnet, you'll see that this is an unsupported network. And you'll get this notice here. Arbitrum is a layer two network that works just like Ethereum, except it's faster and cheaper. You must first bridge Ethereum into Arbitrum to start trading on cap, right? So that's your first step is that you actually need to add the Arbitrum network to a MetaMask. Um, and so you can use, I don't know if this is, uh, hopefully this is uh, the correct info, but go ahead and Google that, get that information correct and add the Arbitrum network uh, to your network list here, right? So you'll have all of them there and you can add it as Arbitrum or Arbitrum 1. Uh, I'd also previously added the test Arbit Arbitrum network there. All right, so that's what you need. Arbitrum network, now you're in. Now you come to cap and you say, okay, I need to bridge some Ethereum over there. You're gonna go to this uh, site here, bridge.arbitrum.io. And you'll have some Ethereum in your wallet. Um, I've got a little bit of Ethereum in this wallet. You're gonna go here and deposit. I just deposited 0.1 Ethereum over. Uh, keep in mind that when you're trying to draw it back out to the mainnet, bridge it the other way. This is true on both Arbitrum and Optimism at this point, I believe. Uh, you need to have about a seven day waiting period for security. So don't put more over there than you're planning to, uh, you know, that you need to be able to make use of quickly. So you just go and deposit, say 0.1 Ethereum or one Ether, whatever it is, deposit. It'll be successful. Uh, that, that happens relatively quickly. And then you're ready to rock. So you're going to go back to cap. You're going to switch over to the Arbitrum network. So let's pull up our MetaMask wallet here again. You'll see right now um, it's giving me a 20x leverage available on Ether, and I'm not really looking to do that. So I'm going to switch over to Arbitrum. Great, I've got my 0.1 ETH in here. Nothing else right now. I'll probably be moving cap over here as well in preparation for being able to stake cap um, and earn all sorts of great rewards and incentives for staking. So that is soon to come. Okay, so I've got uh, 0.1 Ether here at a 50X leverage, right? I would have up to five ETH to trade with. Not going to do that. And in fact, let's just see what's happening with Ethereum real quick. For this test, we might as well um, try to get a winning trade out of this. So let's see what's happening over on Trading View. We want to see what's happening with Ethereum right now. And uh, yeah, so we're not going to do a super high leverage trade. We're just going to look at Ethereum. And this is the daily. And so I'm going to think of this as more of a, uh, you know, like a 30 minute trade or something. So let's look at see what's happening on the one hour. And we've just relatively, we've come, come down, you know, in, in the last, uh, last few hours here and what we have various supports here and there. Let's go ahead and go long on Ethereum. This is some deep TA I know, but we're gonna go ahead and do this for experimental purposes. So we're gonna click on Ethereum. We have a number of other assets available here. Ethereum, Bitcoin, Link, Aave, Sushi, Uni, Wi-Fi. All of these are uh, fed through the Chainlink Oracle right now. So you tap and you get an updated price. We're gonna go ahead and do Ethereum. Each of these you'll see also have different like leverage amount, 100X available on BTC, 50X on Link, 20X on Aave, 
20x sushi, 20x uni, 10x wifey. Um, so let's do ETH. And let's bring this uh, leverage down to, uh, let's just do like a 3x right now. Do a 3x long. Done. And we will use not our full 0.3 ETH. We're just going to use, again, 1 ETH um, at that 3x, right? And we'll go ahead and open up a long position here. And let's see how much it costs. So this is Arbitrum. So uh, the promise of layer two is faster, cheaper. All right, so we have a gas fee of 0 0.002 uh, on top of my 0 0.03 uh, position here that we have. All right, let's 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 give it a shot. Let's confirm this. And my position is going to appear here. This again now shows my new uh, balance of Ethereum on Arbitrum. And there, what did that take? All five seconds, I guess, for the position to load. Um, I am already in a losing position, <laughs> but uh, we'll check in and see how that looks in a little bit here. I can add more margin here, right? So if I wanna add more margin, I can do that here, add margin. I have a current liquidation price of 24.15. Current leverage there, um, what else can I do? Yeah, I can change my margin and so on. So let's go ahead and we'll see how that one goes and, and closes out. Now, if I wanted to move this, at, now this is actually the, the, the gain or loss of this all happens in Ether, right? Instead of USDC, instead of DAI, previous versions of this, CAP is being built for maximum efficiency uh, and that's its real competitive advantage here. So give it a try, check it out. Uh, stay connected with the community. Lots of uh, advancement, advancing uh, in the weeks to come with new features and incentives. Uh, it's an exciting time to be a part of it. Get yourself some cap, get involved. All right.